unboxing time. Last one before uh, semi-holidays. We are going to be shut on Good Friday and we are going to be shut on Easter Sunday. Uh, I have opened over these days before, but I really could just deal with a break. I feel everyone, all the staff could do with a bit of a break. So we are going to have a bit of a break, but we're not having a break from unboxing and unboxing videos, as you can see. So let's get straight on into it and see what goodies we have got today. First one off the bat is an African cichlid. So these are the Nimidochromus of the Nustus or giraffe cichlid. Really cool. They have like an army camo pattern. The males do get a blue face on their green body with a yellow mohawk up the top can get pretty boisterous in a tank. They are still cool. Um, the females stay that color, they're green. That's why they're a good choice because a lot of people want to have nice colors in the Africans. And if obviously if you get peacocks, you can get really drab colored females in there as well. Very, very nice, very happy. Look at these gorgeous albino selfie plecos. These ones are nice size. I was expecting way smaller. It is always a nice surprise when you get way bigger. So they are going to be fantastic for them as well. And then we're going to be like, uh, yeah, so they're going to be great. Good value there as well. Next one we got, we have the uh, female koi guppies. They look amazing. Oh, I am happy with those. So yeah, we have, we're going to have males in this order as well, but they are definitely the girls on there as well. Okay. Beautiful. Next on the list, these bloody ugly, ugly beautiful, only a mother would love them, blood parrots. Um, I do love them. Uh, you can see our big one behind Brent there, just doing its thing there. That's Debbie. We did lose Dallas a while ago, but Debbie's still going strong. Perhaps we can might find her another new Dallas 2 in this lot that we got. Uh, extremely hard to come by here in Australia. We definitely don't get them all the time. When the opportunity came for me to snap some up, I was like, just give them to me all. All of them. I needed them all. Uh, next one. These ones are, I think they're a blue mosaic snakeskin male guppy. They do look really cool. So they got some very nice pattern on there. I'm pretty happy with how they look. They're, um, yeah, they're nice. I like them a lot. Oh, these guys are something a bit different. We haven't had in for a long time. These are bumblebee platties. So let's have a good look at them. They look good. Fins aren't clamped. I see a little bit on the back side. We'll see how they go. I'm gonna give them a, a seven out of 10 at the moment. Let's see how they go once we get them in the tank. Looking good. Um, pretty much just the standard platy, just have that color on there as well, that yellow, black type of thing. This is a tough one. Oh, wait, that took me a bit. These are golden perch. So yeah, definitely something that we don't, um, they can be a little bit tricky to get eating. And as you can see by these guys, they do have like the sunken bellies on there as well. So that's something that we're going to have to work on there as well. Uh, make sure that when they're eating, they're not just hitting the food and spitting it out, but they are actually eating them. They're, once you get it, they also know as yellow bellies. Once you get them eating, very easy to look after. It's just a matter of getting them to that point. These are the lovely males to those gorgeous girls that we had there as well. So these, um, these look really good. These are some of the best koi ones I think we've had for a while. So. In the shop here, you come down, you look into this tank here where we got some of our more la da Corydoras, you will be able to find some of our more fancier guppies in there as well. This is a big box. Big box full of big blood parrots. Check these tanks out. Another one, absolutely stunner. This one here is gonna be a good 14, 14 centimeters I'd say. They were 12 to 14, that's a 14. I guess like the stockiness on there can make it look rare. So super nice colors on there. This one obviously hasn't more faded out there as well. They can come in a variety of colors because they do carry that red devil gene and you can get different funny things. You know, talk about genes, they probably carry every sickle gene in there, honestly. They are a bit of a mix. That's why you can get ones that look, oh no, buddy, you didn't make it. Yeah, he's definitely gone. I'm thinking, I'm We'll get, we'll get him dripping, we'll hope for the best. Get some guard in him. Let's see if we can make, save that fella there. Nothing looked bad, wrong with the bag. He just either like was not healthy when he came or whatever, I'm not too sure, but that's a shame. So we got another big one there. Like I said, we did order a fair few of them. Another little fella there. Another big one there. So we have got loads of blood parrots. Um, I really like the blood parrots, I'm not gonna lie. They are. A very unique fish, um, lots of personality on them. Everyone else seems to have shipped really well. It's just that one one that we pulled out there. It's a bit of a shame, but Brent's on him now. Give him a bit of mouth to mouth. The TLC. Let's see if we can bring him back. Alright. We have to keep going with the rest of the unboxing because these fish aren't gonna unbox themselves. 
Okay, these ones are cool. So these ones are copper Oscars I've known about. So I don't know if you're sure if that's just like a downgrade on the red color or if it's a red or orange. They're nice size, they look nice, um, they look really cool. So we've got two of those, they're really good size as well. Um, I'm happy enough with them as well. They didn't cost me an arm and a leg, they're not free either. So they, um, they've got nice patterns on there. I'm pretty happy enough with those. Cool, cool. Um, what else have we got? More of these. Well, maybe I did get two lots of Albino Plecos. Maybe because they know I love Plecos, they just sent me more Plecos and knew that I'd pay for it because that's what Joel does. He just buys crazy fish all the time. And then we have uh, this one here, which is another African cichlid, which we haven't had for a long time. This is a Perspapax. Uh, I'm butchering that, I'm close to it, but it's kind of like a hongi. You can see with that stripe on there as well. I don't know if it's a Labidochromus like a hongi is, but um, that's, a, that's a Google search. But yeah, very cool. You can see that male there as well. So yeah, another unique cichlid. Uh, overly, no, again, not too expensive. I'd hate to say price and people get disappointed, but uh, yeah, they're not, they're not too crazy. These ones are your orange head tapper joes. So we have a customer request for these guys. We do have some in the shop, but he's got a nice big six foot tank that he's set up. And it's honestly inspired me to try and want to set up a very similar tank. He's used like a nice white sand, bits of driftwood in there. And he's going to have the orange head tapper joes in there. Maybe some ultra angels, a few other different bits and bobs. Sounds absolutely mint, very jealous of it. Lemon tetras, nice classic. Look nice, look healthy, look good. And the last but not least, I'm not even going to get them out because you guys can come down and have a look at these. We have shrimp galore. So we got 600 shrimp here. We got 200 yellow, 200 blue, 200 red, and they are looking bloody fantastic. Eyes is already happy. He doesn't have to sort these things out by color. They're already done. It's going to be an easy job. So yeah. Um, well, yeah, that's this order. We got two more to go. Oh, this is shout out to Northside Aquatics. Great order. Hopefully that blood parrot pulls through. He was looking. 10 no, no, I've oh, got a, I've got a, a semi thumbs up by Brent mm -hmm. there so hopefully we can save that fella there um, but yeah I'll see you we got two more orders Aquarium Industries Bayfish we'll see you in the next one it is getting hot out there we have got heaps of orders that have come in uh, just unloaded a pallet full of dog food chook food all the other food but we're here for the fish not food the fish hopefully not food for your fish fish <laughs> all right so we've got the um, two orders in now Aquarium uh, Industries and Bayfish. So this is going to be our last before Easter. Uh, we'll get straight up into it. I don't know if these Oscars, let's see if you can see these Oscars, these copper ones. They're not really putting on a show. Come on, fellas, smile for the camera. Uh, we'll see if we can get a better shot of those later on. No, no. Marine, we have a uh, load of saltwater fish in this one here. So we have a uh, little humbug. So a little humbug damsel, um, pretty boisterous in a tank. Uh, you do have to watch out for them. They can, you know, get a little bit aggro sometimes. Very tough. A little bit on the cheaper side. That's why people normally like them there as well. So, yeah. Uh, don't know if this one's going to show up. Nah, not today. Anyway, that's a lionfish. They always come like that. Mainly because they don't want the bag to be pierced. There's a lot of water in this bag, so I dare say the bag has been pierced. Okay, PJ Cardinal. Humbug Damsel. And I do believe, what else we got? Oh, yeah. And we got some green chromis as well. PJ, Chromis, and I think that is just that rest of that box is just a mix of those ones there. Yeah. So we'll dump that one on Brent. You can chuck them in there and he can go sort that out. And we'll move on to number two, which looks like more salt water. Okay. Some Ooh, wow. tomato clowns looking nice. So big ones. They're pretty chunky, those ones there. Uh, tomato clowns are probably like the best for hosting and enemies out of all the clowns. Everyone likes the Ocellaris because of Nemo, but the tomato ones generally do do a better job in a tank. They can get, uh, I guess, a little bit aggressive. Uh, that's, you know, something that's pretty standard with them. They get pretty defensive over their enemies. Oh, these, these PJ Cardinals are really oh. tiny that we got in there as well. So again, that's another mixed bag of just those ones there. So we'll kind of move it on because we have got loads to do today and we'll keep on going over to the next one. So this is a uh, red fin Procodinus. Now it did say wild on the bag, so I'm not too sure if that means wild collected. Definitely could be, I guess, because these guys do get collected in the wild. Um, very good algae control, very cool fish. Really do like them. We do believe we have reds and yellow fins in here. The reds definitely look way nicer. Lion tail mollies. Got some in the other week. They've been really popular. People really like them. I used to call them moon crescent mollies. 
um, but I guess they change throughout the years depending on how they're going to market them. Oh, he's a big dirty old fella. So this is a Murray cod. So this is Australian native, uh, native for the Murray River down south between Victoria, Victoria and New South Wales. Do get quite large, does get quite aggressive. He's very cool. Will eat live food. Um, a lot of people go with the barra. They go oh, not too bad together. They do get quite aggro as well. So that can be the issue. Uh, so we just got some of the tuxedo neon blues. Standard old guppies. They're just going to be in the mix of our standard guppies. We got some assorted swordtails. They got some nice pineapples in there. They look really good. Pretty happy with those. We have some assorted male guppies there as well. That's there. That's there. More assorted males. And then I do believe we have some ladies and more of these blue neon tuxedo ones there as well. So heaps of live bearers to go. Um, I will say that these koi ones that we got in, these pet, or well, these males and females, they look bloody fantastic. So yeah, super happy with those. They are, are very nice looking fish. Okay. More sword tails there. Got some black ones, pineapples, reds, red, red wagtails. Bit of a mix. Another one of the uh, red fin flagtail crocodinus. So yeah, again, cool fish. They sell pretty fast for us. They just get a bit aggro with each other. So that's why we don't try to have too many of them in the tank. Uh, these ones are just going to be your sort of female guppies. More of those there. Sort of female guppies. We have uh, some very nice cobra blonde guppies there as well. So good colors on there. They look pretty awesome. And then we have your female blue coral grammies. Yeah, they're all, not too bad. There's a few scabby ones in there. So we'll see how these guys fare up once we get them in the tank there. Hopefully they just need a bit of a feed up and a bit of TLC to get them looking good. Lots of, lots of female guppies there. These ones are more of the lyre tails. Yep, lyre tail mollies there as well. And more of these red, uh, these cobra blood and guppies there as well. So we've got a lot of those in there, but they're going to look pretty stunning in the tank. Red's always a nice colour. So that is Aquarium Industries done and dusted. We'll get ready into Aquarium uh, Bayfish or Premier Pet. They're the same company, I guess. Uh, we have just your assorted fantails, but they've given us a really nice mix of assorted fantails, which is really good because we've got loads of orange there. So that should come up looking a hell of a lot better than what it was down there before. It'll give us a nice color mix. Okay, what else are we got cooking with here? White clouds. I never thought there would be any white clouds. Which of the boys have just added more white clouds. They must be trying to get rid of them. They're bloody, they're bloody small at the moment. I'm not a huge fan of them. So, all right. Uh, assorted mollies. There's some unusual Dalmatian ones in there. So with the gold, your orange Dalmatians. And then, oh, we've been looking for some of these. These are your Octagonus catfish. Happy to have these guys back in. Uh, everyone was hassling me for them. They are a great algae eater. They don't get large. Everyone's doing the nano tanks nowadays, so they want something that's not going to get too large, like a brissonose in their tank or a pleco that's going to keep algae under control. That's the rest of the assorted male, um, sort of guppies there. You can see there's a beautiful sail fin in there. The sail fins do have that really big top fin on there as well. They get a little bit larger. Uh, peacock there, I do believe these are just replacements for a few that we did lose last week there as well. So rather than just giving us our money back, they just wanted to give us some replacements, which happy enough to do. We had an order coming anyway. I'm not going to lose sleep over that. This is the yellow fin flaytail propadinus. So a little bit bigger than what those red fins are, a little bit more healthier probably, just a bit more solid, but um, not as pretty. Another one of those peacocks there. Peacock tank is absolutely lit at the moment. It's looking so fantastic. And these are just some assorted cherries. Again, just replacements for the ones we lost. I will say those reds, yellows, and blues we got in the previous order look awesome. Uh, little rosy barbs, these are our feeder fish. So for live feeding, something that we need to do because we, we got fish like you know, the ribbon eel we got down there and that at the moment, that one definitely needs, he's only eating live stuff at the moment. We keep on trying with krill and prawn and different things like that, but sometimes it can be a little bit tricky uh, to get those ones to go for it. <coughs> Excuse me, Serpe Tetras, loads of those. Always a classic Tetra, go really well. Some a sort of discus. So these are from the Sintar farm. That looks like a cobalt blue there. 
We have a, a nice, nice orange there. That one looks pretty, pretty bloody good. Our discus have been going really well lately. We've been giving them a little bit more TLC and it definitely has paid off. And another four discus in there as well. So these guys would be considered around that eight centimeter size. So a little bit more expensive than your standard ones, but that, that's a pretty one. I like that one. But we do try to get them into that size, even though customers do want them cheaper, we want to have them better and healthier and that size. When they're smaller, sometimes what you can see is you can't really notice the, not deformities, but the misshape in the body there as well. As they get bigger, you can start to see those things. So they generally cull those ones out a little bit better. Sometimes when they're small, they'll just send you everything they've got there as well. All right, guys, well, that's the end of the video. Happy Easter. Hope you enjoyed it. Shop is looking absolutely mint at the moment, so we will be open Saturday. So hopefully everyone comes down, buys a heap of these new cool fish that we got, and I will see you there as always.